Hi guys and welcome to another WordPress video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, we've had a question and it's another question that comes up quite often with the 2020 theme. When you create a page and look at the page, it's got this huge page title right here, which is okay for some things, but a lot of people don't seem to like it. And the questions I get are, how do you make it smaller? How do you get rid of the title? And it's pretty easy. We're gonna use a bit of custom CSS today, but don't let that put you off. Any CSS that I use, I'll put down below and you're welcome to use it. So I'm gonna open the customizer in a new tab, or you can go to dashboard, down to appearance and customize, or just hit the little link right there. Now, once the customizer is open, you'll see additional CSS at the bottom here. And as you can see, we've already got some written in here. I'll move this out of the way so it's not distracting. Now, if we look at our page here, I've actually made this the home page. And if you, want, you need to go to make a page temporarily a home page, you can go to the home page setting, just set it on the page you want. You can always change it back when you're done editing. So we'll go back in there. Now I'm using Google Chrome today with the great inspector tools. Most browsers have this nowadays, but if yours doesn't, uh, Chrome is a free download. So I'm gonna right click and inspect the title there. And it's gonna bring up our inspector tools here. Okay, and we've got, that's the actual title right there. Let's deal with first things first. If you just want to make it smaller, let's click on the title. We can do it right here. So we've got H1 entry title and H2 entry title. So in the blank element right here, I'm going to say font size, say 16 pics. As you can see, that shrunk that up maybe a bit too small. Let's make it 26 pics. If you wanted to change the color of it, you can simply put color. And I'll just say blue. Obviously put any hex color or regular color you want in there. As you can see, that's changed that to blue. If you want to make it capitalized, um, you could put text transform colon uppercase as you see that's made it uppercase there and you can keep adding things text shadows underline whatever you want I'll just use those for a minute and put them over in our customizer that way you've got them if you decide you want to use them now to make this permanent if I refresh now it's going to go back to the regular state I need to copy the class name which is entry title right here just double left click on it control c to copy it's a class so all classes need to have a dot or a period in front of them so we put a dot then the class name then i'm going to open and close some curly brackets and i'm going to copy what i just did here font color and the text size and everything put it in here and see if it's going to work for us we may have to force some of this with important we may not we'll see okay let's publish this let's go to a page because it should do it on any page we're actually on the same page here and refresh and that should change to what we put in there there we go that's fine so that's that's how to change the size of it now if you wanted to make that header smaller and change the color of it it's just up above here let's click on that and there's a lot of padding top and bottom so let's say padding first entry is top and bottom let's say let's make it say 50 pics let's shorten it up as you can see and let's give it a background color. We'll make it black and let's take change that text color to blue. Black, 
hexadecimal is hashtag zero 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 we can just type in black for black as you can see we've got a black title there now if you wanted to make it even skinnier than that just take away a bit more padding let's make it 30. and with entries in here if you left click on it and highlight it with your mouse you can roll your mouse wheel and take it down by just rolling your mouse wheel so i've taken that down to 30. that's fine now we need to do the same thing to make this permanent we need to copy the class name which is entry header right here double click just want to take our first class that's a class this is a class and this is a class we just want that first one i'm going to copy it again we need to put a dot in front of it because it's a class name open and close some curly brackets after it and paste in the code that we just wrote Control c to copy Control v to paste tidy it up okay let's publish this and see if we have to make any adjustments refresh our page here okay so it didn't do anything there so we need to force this by putting important after it so it's exclamation and the word important and we'll do the same for the one down below you have to do this sometimes when you're overwriting styles let's publish this let's try again and refresh there we go that's done it that time fantastic so we've changed that from that crazy big header into something a little more manageable now if you didn't want this section at all no title no section up there you can remove it really easy as well what I'll do is I'll go into this customizer and we'll give it a heading it's a good idea when you're writing CSS especially if you write a lot of it like I do to give things headings so that when you come back in at a later date or if somebody else is editing the site it's a courtesy for them they can find things easier without having to search through and look at class names and things like that so we'll call this a uh, header style and I'll put one down below that we'll call hide header and again a heading is just forward slash star star forward slash anything written between the two stars in between will not be read as code so we'll say hide header and to do this today we simply need to take this class right here we know it's got a class of entry header I'm going to copy that again I'm not going to do anything over here because I don't need to it's a class dot or period class name open and close some curly brackets and we can just put in here display none and as you can see it's disappeared now let's publish this and see if it's going to work on our regular page and make sure we don't have to force it so there's our initial one there we go that's absolutely fine and you'll find when you create a new page it'll take the styling across so let's create a new page We'll just copy some lorem ipsum from this one right here that we've got paste that in there okay let's save our draft let's preview the changes and as you can see there's no header up there at all now if we go back and get rid of this particular entry to get rid of any entry just take the star and closing forward slash right there and put it after whatever the entry is so that the entry is encased in a forward slash star star forward slash that way that takes gets rid of the code but in case you want to use it again it, you don't have to delete it completely 
Okay, so we've got rid of that now. When I refresh, we should have our black header back there again. There we go. So that's how to style and manipulate the header in the 2020 WordPress theme. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.